Afghanistan under the Taliban control has been the global headline maker for the last two months now. On the 15th of August, the Taliban took over Kabul, ousting the Ashraf Ghani government. Days later, the US and NATO troops left the country, ending America's longest war in Afghanistan. And for the first time since the pullout, the Taliban leaders are sitting on the same table as the United States, discussing terrorism, ties and humanitarian aid. Our correspondent Anas Malik is in Kabul where he spoke to the Deputy Information Minister and the Chief Spokesperson of the Taliban, Zabiullah Mujahid. Listen in. I have with me the spokesperson of the Afghan Taliban, who is currently the acting Deputy Information Minister of the Afghan government as well. Uh, Mr. Zabiullah Mujahid, sir, thank you so much for taking our time and speaking to Vion. Sir, I understand you've been swapped in questions, but uh, there, is a, there, there are Doha talks that are currently ongoing. And the United States and the Taliban both are sitting for the first time since you and the Taliban have gained power in Afghanistan. What are the, what are the key issues that are being discussed uh, or being deliberated upon and how do you view this development? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Hamid wa Musalli anam abad. Islami marad dikhpal wa sulu lamakhina wa dikhpal parans dariz lamakhina gwari سر طول نړی سره ښه تعامل ولري په هغه کې امریکا متحده ایالات هم یو مهم هیواد په نړی کې موږ غواړو د هغه جنگي وضعیت سره تیر شوی د نور هغه تیر وي له نړی سره له سره خصوصا امریکا سره له سره اړیکې ورغو امریکا سره غواړو سره په سیاسي برخه کې ښه تعامل ولرو او د سره تعامل ولرو سره هغه د افغانستان د خلکو په ګټه وي او د امریکا هم په زیان نه وي او دا راز د موږ سره تجارتي راکړې ورکړې ولري او په نورمال شکل باندې په نړۍ کې ژوند وکړو د دې خاطر موږ یو هیئت دوهې ته تللی ده په دوهه کې به د امریکایي استازي سره ګوري او امیدوار اوسي دواړو خوا به په اړیکو کې ښه پرمختګ وکړي that the U.S. top military bosses uh, in during their testimonies uh, on Afghanistan to the U.S. lawmakers, uh, they have said, and, the, and I quote, that Taliban for them were terrorists and will remain terrorists. Do you think that the Biden administration has or will have a different opinion when they're sitting down with you on the negotiating table, given that Pentagon's assertions, do you not think that Pentagon's assertions would also mean that there would also be issues for the Taliban to get off the UN sanctions list? اصلی موضوع دا ده سی دی امریکا پا رحبری کی خوصان پا نظامی چارواک کی گدوڑی معلومی گی اول دا سی اسلامی مارد نه ترورست پو نه ترورست دا پا دی مورد سی امریکا سوائی دا خبری غلطی دی مگر دو اول دا امریکا دی مکسر تعامل کرده پا دوزر شل کی مگر دی تر منز یو پا دو حکی پریک روز و توافق وسو نو دا دی مکر ترورست پوری بیسرم لی ترورستان سر دوی توافق کوالی سی دا دوی بندی سوال د بله خبر داده سیم که حس کوو سی جنگی دلیل با آمریکا که موجودی دیا جنگی چارواکی یا نظامی چارواکی اگوی دی جنگ ندیر شخصی بهره برداری که ولاده دی آمریکا جنگ سی با افغانستان که روانو دی شخصی گتم پدی که تاکی بولی و سکه جنرال رقایی پدای خس ایزهارات سر بیت حالات متشنج بخی متشنج تبوزی خو مکوارو سی آمریکایی سیاسون پدی مورد باندی خبر تسمی مونیسی اب داغ جنرالان سی به مسئولیت خبری کی یا به مسئولیت ایزارات کی دی دی مخوانی ولی سی دا افغانستان سر دوی دی خود تعامل لپاره و خود دیپلماسی دی منظور اتاق لپاره کارو کی مگم پدی برخی کی کار کو سود و خیه وادونا پیه وا پو افغان پو نلی کی ووسو اوی ولی بالا سر همکاری ولی رونه داشی یا ولی بالا سر تنش و وجود ولی ریو علی کی مسئله خراب ویدار دی آمریکا پگاتم ندی دی افغانستان پگاتم ندی and our correspondent Anas Malik is now joining us live from Kabul on these developments. Uh, Anas, uh, the key takeaways, uh, take us through the key takeaways from that conversation that you had with Zabiullah Mujahid. Um, an important sign of what the Taliban is looking, la looking at at the moment at a time when it is craving international legitimacy.
Well, yes, Molly, I had that conversation today with Zabila Mujahid and we spoke about a wide range of issues, be that be on cooperation uh, with the international community in uh, cooperation with the U.S., the Doha talks that have been ongoing uh, uh, or that have, in fact, just uh, concluded the Doha talks with the U.S. Uh, and mind you, the other, the second round would continue, uh, that is, as Taliban's uh, foreign minister, the Afghan Taliban's foreign minister continues to engage with the international community and he will be engaging tomorrow with the European countries or the EU envoys. Uh, uh, the, if I talk to you specifically about this interview, uh, uh, we spoke to him about with regards to cooperation with India and development with uh, and developmental cooperation with India. He said that uh, he welcomes that. I spoke to him with regards to uh, uh, Pakistan and uh, uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister's claim uh, with regards to the Tehreek-e Taliban, and he said that uh, 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 he assured rather that the Afghan soil would not be used. They have a control uh, over uh, 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 areas in Afghanistan, and that they would do uh, whatever it takes to eliminate or eradicate terror-linked elements. As I asked him with regards to the presence of IS, the Islamic State, and he outrightly denied uh, the fact that the Islamic State is a bigger problem. When I, because this was in context of, of the fact that, uh, uh, given that IS has recently ramped up its attacks uh, in the country, and he said that IS is not a bigger problem to them. Uh, it is more of a challenge or rather a resistance for, uh, force uh, to the Taliban. The Taliban have launched a major operation. Uh, he's also said that they would be uh, going around uh, uh, with regards to the sleeper cells and they will be bursting them and they will be ensuring or trying to eradicate IS from Afghan soil. Uh, I spoke to him about women's rights as well and uh, he said that there is a mechanism being built. Lots of key takeaways on that interview that is to be aired tomorrow, uh, uh, sometime tomorrow uh, on Beyond exclusively. He spoke for, for the first time uh, uh, to any Indian network, uh, Zabila Mujahid, and uh, there are lots of key, uh, key takeaways from that very interview. Molly? Right, Anas, and uh, the Doha talks have also concluded uh, the first time that the U.S. and Taliban were sitting on the same table uh, discussing a wide range of issues. Uh, what do we know at this point on the key outcome or outcomes of that meeting? Well, there is no outcome per se. I spoke, when I spoke to Zabila Mujahid, he clearly laid it out that this would be, they, they would try to lay out a mechanism for future meetings. And this is what sources in Doha have been telling us both uh, from, uh, uh, from the US side and from the Taliban side. They've been saying that uh, they have discussed uh, a future mechanism to continue these talks. Uh, they've discussed humanitarian assistance, but that comes with the caveat that that has to be transparent. Transparency is the key to continue continue humanitarian assistance. Uh, yesterday when uh, these discussions around the humanitarian assistance took place, they also focused on female aid workers being allowed to go back to work. Uh, today that was not uh, the point of discussion. Today's uh, discussion that was on day two, uh, they also focused on delisting of elements, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, terror-linked elements uh, who were listed by the UN and by the US as well. That is directly uh, hinging on with inclusive governments and the, uh, with inclusive government A and the Taliban ensuring women's rights. So KVRs over there, uh, they've also discussed uh, 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 this uh, uh, the, the problem with uh, the Afghan money that is currently frozen. Uh, they have had discussions, at least the Taliban side have demanded that. Uh, the U.S. side did go on uh, to talk about the over-the-horizon strikes. The Taliban have outrightly rejected that. Uh, they're trying to create this semblance of uh, being uh, well mentally independent and that uh, they say and they claim that they have the wherewithal uh, to eradicate the IS. This is, what, this is something that had resonated during the Zabiullah Mujahid interview as well. Um, additionally, if I talk to you about uh, 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 with regards to this specific round of talks, uh, it, it comes as a major moral booster for the Taliban because uh, in the midst of those, in the absence of that uh, international recognition, this would, uh, this would uh, basically uh, help them to bolster up that they, when they can get onto the table with the United States, then they can possibly talk with other countries as well. Uh, other uh, countries in the region like China, Pakistan, Russia, Uzbekistan, they have been backing the Taliban or trying to talk, uh, trying to back up talks with the Taliban. The Taliban are oblivious of that. The Taliban are adamant of that. In fact, uh, uh, but they understand that engaging with the U.S. and global community yes. is the key because if they, if they engage with the U.S., the West follows suit and that would be something for them that would be beneficial. Molly? Right, we're leaving it there for the moment. Anas Malik getting us those inputs from Kabul. Thanks very much for joining us on the broadcast.
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.